Hi, fifth graders, it's Mrs. Lemoyne again, and today we're going to be doing Unit 7, Lesson 7, Rectangles and Squares. We're going to learn more about rectangles and squares today. What do you know about this shape? Well, of course, I know it's a square. There are four sides, one, two, three, four. They're all equal length, and they have right or 90 degree angles. And the opposite sides are parallel, so it's also a parallelogram. This is called a square. We knew that, right? All right, let's see what else they ask us today. All right, so I'm going to give you some cards. And on your cards, you're going to spread out them so that you and your partner can see all of them. And then we're going to work together to find a shape that fits each clue. If you don't think it's possible to find that shape, explain why. You can use each shape only one time. So this is going to disappear while we look at um, my overhead and the cards that I have out. Um, so I'm going to just read those. You can follow along in your book. So the first clue, whoops, shouldn't have done that. My first clue is find a quadrilateral that is not a parallelogram. All right, so let's go to our pictures here. I need a quadrilateral that is not a parallelogram. Well, I know that this isn't a parallelogram. It doesn't have any parallel sides, does it? And I think that is the only one. So let's see, we need to record. So for clue number one, I'm going to say that it's going to be shape A, clue shape A, okay? So we can put that card aside. Clue number two was to find a rhombus that is also a square. So that just means to find a square, right? So which one of these shapes is a square? Oh, here it is here. Number two, clue number two is shape B. Okay, I wonder if these are gonna go in alphabetical order. Clue number three, clue number three was to find a rhombus that was not a square. So a rhombus means that it has four equal sides, but it does not have 90 degree angles. So the only one that has four equal sides would be say, shape C. So I do think they're gonna go in order. All right, for clue number four, we're gonna find a trapezoid that is not a rectangle. Remember trapezoid had at least one pair of uh, par parallel sides, one pair of parallel sides. This has two and this has two. This has two, right? One pair, two pairs. This side does not have two pairs. It only has one pair of, of it. So you could say that the answer to this one is D, but also wouldn't this be correct as well? But I think I'm gonna go with D. Okay. Clue number five was find a rectangle that is not a square. Well, that's easy, that's E. And clue number six Find a parallelogram that is not a rectangle. Find a parallelogram that is not a rectangle. So there we are. We have opposite sides of um, the opposite sides are parallel, but it's not a rectangle because it doesn't have 90 degree angles. So there's F. Clue number seven, but I've run out of cards, huh? Clue number seven says find a square that is not a rectangle. Well, maybe that's why that we don't have a picture because that's impossible, isn't it? All squares have four right angles. So all squares are also con considered a rectangle, but not all rectangles are squares. So these two things are both rectangles, but this one's a square and this one's not. So being a square is very particular, isn't it? It's very particular. All right, let's go back and see what else they ask us to do. Let's share how we matched our shapes to our clues. Well, we just did that. Claire says, sometimes rhombuses are squares. Do you, and some rectangles are squares. Do you agree with her? Yeah, we saw with the toothpick that a rhombus can be a square, but it doesn't have to be. Rectangles are square when the four sides are equal, but the four sides don't need to be equal, so not all rectangles are squares. Ah, look at this. How does this diagram show the relationship between rhombuses and rectangles? Well, I can see that rectangles are not 
inside the box for rhombuses, are they? They're in the side the box for rectangles. I'm sorry, parallelograms. Let me get my pen out. It's inside the box for parallelograms, but not rhombuses. And I think they connected these two things because a square can be a rectangle, but a rectangle is not necessarily a square. So the relationship between the two of them, um, it shows that squares are both rhombuses and rectangles. Squares are both rhombuses and rectangles, but a rectangle is not necessarily a rhombus. All right, let's move on. Let's see what else they ask us. Are all squares rectangles? How does this diagram show that? Yes, a square has four right angles, and the diagram shows that because it sits inside of the rectangle. See, this is, this is connected here. So squares are rectangles. All right, so now we're going to answer some questions. We're going to write always, always, sometimes, never, in each blank. For each statement that is completed with a sometimes, we need to draw a figure for which statement is true, for which the statement is true, and another figure for which it is not true. So a, a rhombus, a rhombus is sometimes a square. Sometimes, and we know that by that picture that we have on the other page, right? So a rhombus is a square when it is a square, and a rhombus is not a square when it looks like that, if these were equal sides, right? Equal sides there. A square is always a rhombus. That's why it sits inside the, the rhombus box, right? A triangle is never a quadrilateral, right? It does not have four sides, and quad means four. A square is always a rectangle. Always a rectangle. A rectangle is always a parallelogram. So when I'm trying to answer these questions, boys and girls, I am picturing that picture that we looked at. Let's go back and look at it on the last slide. So I'm picturing this in my head when I'm thinking about it, right? So a rectangle is always a parallelogram. All right. A parallelogram is blank a rhombus. So when I picture that, a parallelogram, is it always a rhombus? No, it's sometimes, sometimes. Oops. And I can go back and look at that picture if I need to. Sometimes. So if it's sometimes a rhombus, that means I'm going to have to draw a picture, right? So when is a parallelogram a rhombus? A parallelogram is a rhombus when it looks like this. A parallelogram is not a rhombus when it's maybe like this right? I don't have four equal sides. This one, I have four equal sides. And that's what the definition of a rhombus. So is a rhombus is not a rhombus. A trapezoid is what a blank for a parallelogram. I think it's sometimes a parallelogram. Sometimes. Because remember, a trapezoid definition for this book is that it could have parallel sides. So when it's a rectangle, it's a parallel sides. That's a trapezoid, but also a trapezoid could look like this, where only one side is parallel. So this is not a parallelogram, and this is a parallelogram, so I'm going to say that it's sometimes. But remember, boys and girls, we're using a specific definition of trapezoid. Some books, in fact, most books that I've seen say that a trapezoid only has to have one side, at least one side. It has to only have one side. Our definition is that it has to have at least one side parallel. But most books say that it has to have both sides parallel to be a trapezoid. Or, I'm sorry, it has to have one side to be a trapezoid. So it's not a parallelogram. But in this book, we're going to think of it as a parallelogram. All right. That was hard to think about because I really need to memorize those definitions and maybe even that chart to be able to do that activity. Is it possible to have a rhombus that is also a square? 
Yeah, we've talked about that a lot, right? We could draw a square. The definition of a rhombus just means that it's a four side, it's a quadrilateral with four equal sides. That's all it means. So that could be a square. Ooh, here's my picture that I love. I love this picture. It helps me really understand these questions. How does the diagram show that a rhombus is sometimes a square? So here are all the squares in the world, and here are all the rhombuses in the world. So there are rhombuses, right? It doesn't fill up all of the rhombuses. So there are rhombuses that are not squares. That's how it shows it. How does the diagram show how parallelograms are related to trapezoids? All right, so I think that parallelogram related to a trapezoid, all parallelograms are considered trapezoids. All parallelograms are considered trapezoids because it's all inside of that one shape, right? Let's see what else they ask us to do here. Today we looked at the relationship between different types of quadrilaterals, including trapezoids, parallelograms, rectangles, rhombuses, and squares. During the warm-up, we said this shape is a square because it had four equal sides and 90 degree angles. What do you know about this shape? It's a square, it's also a rectangle, it's also a rhombus, it's also a parallelogram. Why is a square also a rhombus? All of the degrees, um, all of the sides are equal, and it's a square because it has 90 degree angles. Why is a square also a rectangle? The same answer, right? All of the sides have, or, or all the angles have 90 degree angles, and that makes a rectangle. If a shape is a rectangle, is it also a square? Not necessarily, it's sometimes. It depends on the lengths of the sides of the rectangle. If all four sides are equal, then it's a square. But if all four sides are not equal, then it is, a, um, it is not a, a square. If a shape is a rectangle and a rhombus, is it also a square? No. Well, if it's a rectangle, yes, sorry, yes, it is. Because if it's a rectangle, um, and it, ha it has to have 90 degree angles. So a square has to have 90 degree angles. But if it's a rhombus, all four sides are going to be equal. You see why you need to know all of those definitions? This unit is full of terms that you need to know. All right, here's our cool down. I have four shapes with letters on them. And I need to put them in the correct spots on this diagram. Now, I'm not going to draw the shape in the diagram, but I will put the letter for the shape in the diagram, okay? So for letter A, I notice it has four sides, so it's a quadrilateral. Um, the sides, both sides are, are, both opposite sides are parallel, so it is a parallelogram. So I'm going to say that shape A belongs here. It's not a square or a rhombus, and it's not a rectangle. So B looks like a rectangle for me, so I'm going to put that here. C is a quadrilateral. It does not have four equal sides. It only has one side that is parallelogram. So I'm going to say that it's a trapezoid. It has one, at least one side that are parallel. And then D, it looks like it has four equal sides, but it's not a square. So it is a parallelogram. It's not a square, so I'm going to say that this is a rhombus. Oh, I lost my pen. So D goes under rhombus. I'm sorry about that, guys. My pen has given out for the day. Let's see if I can write it with my mouse. There we go. So D. All right. It's easy to classify these girls and boys if you know the definitions. So you really need to study those definitions. All right, thank you for joining me for Lesson 7. I hope to see you again in Lesson 8. Please like and subscribe so I can continue to make these um, videos for you guys. See you next time.